A final push into rebel-held villages. After Senegal's armed forces launched a two-week ground and aerial assault, government troops have taken back control of southern districts in the Casamance region, bordering Guinea-Bissau. This is an important operation aimed at better controlling the border by creating military outposts deep in the jungle. This is to allow the civilian population that fled the area to be able to finally return home. This is what's left of one of the rebel bases. Provisions and arms were abandoned as Senegal government forces launched their surprise assault. The army says rebel fighters had placed landmines all around the camp. At least one officer in our ranks was injured when he stepped on an anti-personnel mine. Also, one of our comrades was injured by gunshot. The movement of democratic forces of Casamance, also known as the MFDC, has been fighting for independence from Senegal for the last 40 years. In the past, the government of Guinea-Bissau and Gambia were hostile towards Senegal and supported the rebels. A spokesperson of the Senegalese Armed Forces told Al Jazeera that they suspect the rebels of having fled to neighboring Guinea-Bissau. While there has been series of victories for the Senegalese army in the last year, lasting peace will require the cooperation of neighboring countries. But newly elected presidents in neighboring countries stopped funding the rebels, preferring to build stronger ties with Senegal's president, Macky Sall. Today, Senegal have good allies both in Guinea-Bissau and in the Gambia. So it is, let's say, the best time for the Senegalese government to find lasting solution to the Casamance conflict, which means using the military pressure while negotiating with a very weak MFDC. Following mediation efforts by organizations close to the Vatican, the movement of democratic forces of Casamance called for a full ceasefire in 2014. But the rebels are accused by rights groups and environmentalists of illegal logging and attacking local villagers. This latest assault by the Senegalese army is another attempt to bring this long-standing conflict to an end. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.